everybody, it is just me and my tea again. And today I am super excited because my fairy loot box has arrived. Woohoo! And I totally missed it in my last video that I have now been subscribed to fairy loot for one year, which is crazy. And in that time, we have gotten a few um, duplicates. Do check out the Battle of the Books for those videos, but I'm super excited to see what is in our box. So with our trusty pocket knife, let us get into it, shall we? So if you are unfamiliar with Fairy Loot, it is a really lovely um, subscription box. Every month you get a brand new book and bookish goodies, or if you want to opt into a book only subscription, they also have adult and what is it? Um, fantasy romance boxes. So they're all just really lovely. Here we go. So if I remember right, the theme for June was kind of like on the verge for like Bridgerton. Okay, so it was Decadent Desires, but I'm totally getting Bridgerton um, vibes from the spoiler card, which as R River Song would say, spoilers, I'm going to put that aside for now. And I just have to say, this box is ridiculously, like ridiculously heavy. Like listen, Boom. or maybe not. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Anyway, take my word for it. It is super, super heavy. Oh, first thing up, Packy Peanuts, which will go on the floor, and Rory will have fun with those until I pick them up, but there will always be one left over. Ooh, first thing I see. Ooh, very useful for me with the long hair. We have a really pretty scrunchie. Ooh, cool. Okay, so... <laughs> this is themed after a book that I literally just finished two, three nights ago. And this is a lovely silken scrunchie and the design is themed by Poison Study. Which I don't know why it took me so long to read. It is really good and nobody spoiled the next two books because I didn't realize it was a series. And so I'm super, super excited for that. Um, comment down below though if you have read Poison Study and if you like it or dislike it. Oh, and there we have Butterfly's Wing. I love it. I recognize all the different poisons on here. It looks like that one might be My Love and that one, what was it, Blackberry or Raspberry, some kind of poison. Okay, super cool. That is going to be super useful in the hot weather that we are expected to have. Next, ooh, dr the Darkness Within Us water bottle. Ooh, okay. Lovely box. I hope the design on the box is similar to that on the water bottle. Oh, so it's a glass water bottle. I don't know how I feel about glass water bottles. I think they're really, really beautiful. I absolutely love them, but they make me so nervous. Uh, it is the little things in life that provide the most enjoyment. Oh, I love that. And the design is really beautiful with like botanical flowers and this beautiful key. And I like that it has a little um, hand strap, although it is a bit small for my hands, but um, that is nice. But again, glass makes me so very nervous. Um, so I'm gonna sit you right here next to the little fairy, but very, very pretty. That might be one of the reasons why the box is so heavy. Oh my gosh, we have even more stuff, more packy peanuts. Next, ooh, okay, is a foiled bookmark from Shatter Me, another series that I've been told I really need to get into. So if you are a Shatter Me fan, I'm sure these will make more sense to you than they do to me. So we have a character there, we have someone there, someone there. If you are a fan of the series, tell me who these characters are in order of as I'm going. Please and thank you. That would be very, very um, helpful because these bookmarks are absolutely gorgeous, but I don't know who these, was it, six people are? So tell me, please, who the six people are. Otherwise, the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. I love the foiling. I just um, am unfamiliar with the series. All right, next. Ooh, I think this might be why the box was so super heavy. And it looks like, there we go, it kind of broke apart. Ooh, oh, it's our uh, Court of Thorns and Roses item. It's two bookends. And I like that they're opposites of each other and they're not just perfectly the same. So 
that is really nice here. Let's see. Um, I'll put something behind it so you can see the design better. That is really beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's going to be really nice to have. I love a good set of bookends. So yeah, the little tag came off. So there's the thing that says um, Court of Thorns and Roses. Ooh, next item. Ooh, it came apart a little bit. So one moment, please. Alrighty, so it kind of came apart a little bit. But we have the Crimson Moth, also known here in the U.S. as the Heartless Hunter. It's the same book, but it has a different title here. And it's a Crimson Moth embroidery kit. And I assume that this picture on the back is what we will we'll embroider, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really enjoyed that book, although some of the magic loopholes that our main character used was a little bit on the interesting side. Ooh, and we have a beautiful embroidery ring that's all ready and set up. I love the detailing on the edges to make it look like wood. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I think it will be looking something along the lines of this when it's all done. I cannot wait to do that. Um, I definitely know what I'm going to be doing this weekend when I'm off of work. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to get into it. All right, then we have the last few items in the bottom and our book. So the last items we have are our cards. So we have the Five of Suns here and the Six. And I love how they come together to make one image. That is really, really pretty. And I love when things are thought through like this. Absolutely. Mm. Chef's kiss to details. <sighs> and speaking of chef's kiss, if you have really enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that button. It really helps with the old owl. And, uh... Again, comment what your favorite item has been so far. All right, so it's time for our book. I'm gonna pull out first up our little fairy scoop and then I think the bookmark, there's the bookmark. So now it is time for our book. You are the first to see it. Three, two, one. Is it beautiful? Is it gorgeous? Ooh, the darkness within us. Oh, so it's the, um, the glass right here, okay. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. So it looks like we have bl um, solid black top and bottom. Ooh. And here is our edges. Really beautiful kind of like swirly pink magic and some purple. Almost looks like little bell flowers. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the quote from the book on the back, it says, My husband is taking too long to die. Well, that is interesting. Oh my gosh. Ooh. All right, so here we have our end pages. Although it really makes me sad when the artwork on the end pages, the dust jacket ends up covering over half of it. But that's really pretty. Is it different on the other side? Ooh, ooh, yes it is. Oh, that is very, very interesting. All right, and it looks like we have a reversible dust jacket or reversible artwork on the back. So there it is there and the hardcover of our book, pink with black designs on it and character design on the back. Nice. Alrighty. Let's see if there's any special bonus content at the end of our book. Let's see. Epilogue. Acknowledgements. So no bonus content. And here is our letter from the author. And, oh, they didn't even bother with the di digital signature. Interesting. Oh, this is the author of Daughter of the Pirate King. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yep, and that is the first line of the book. My husband is taking too long to die. Interesting. All righty. Um, Oh, that's weird. That might irritate me a little bit. For whatever reason, chapter is not straight across. It's kind of a, at a weird angle. Um, that's definitely a choice. Not exactly my choice. And all the chapters do that. Okay, that will be interesting. But let's see what the book has to says. It says... I'm sorry if I 
pronounce the names wrong. Chris, Christinath? Christinath? Satoth has won. By hiding her intelligence and ambition behind the mask of a beautiful, airheaded girl, she has become the wealthiest duchess, and one of her elderly and once her elderly husband dies, she will have all the freedom and money she had ever wanted. Or so she thought. A man claiming to be her husband's estranged grandson has turned up to steal her inheritance. And to make matters worse, her little sister Alessandra is about to become queen. So Chris Christina, Christina. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm totally butchering that name. Has resolved to upstage Alessandra at her own wedding, and as for th as for this grandson, he may be extremely handsome and mysterious, but he has got to go. Interesting. Oh, it, I guess it includes a new chapter exclusive for fairy loot readers. So somewhere in here is a new chapter that will be very interesting. I cannot wait to find that um, new chapter, so that will be really fun. And I'm sorry, the first line being, my husband is taking too long to die, this definitely sounds interesting. So that being said, I guess it's time to get into my book, start cross-stitching the Crimson Moth, and just enjoy my bookish long weekend. So, that being said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, do consider becoming a channel member. There are three options down below, and every little bit helps keep up the bookish shenanigans here. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!